Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Pikmin! Last time, we went to the Force Navels challenge mode where we thought it was going to be a pretty challenging area because, well, the Force Navel is one of my least favorite areas in the entire series. However, it was actually pretty chill down there. Just went around, uh, got some nectar, got some pellets, and killed a bread bug. And that was about the extent of the excitement down there. However, whereas the Force Navel was one of the easiest maps for us to do challenge mode in, the Distant Spring is a whole other beast. I would say this is probably the hardest out of all the challenge areas. Yes, even more than the Forest of Hope with all its Bulborbs, Bull Bears, Dwarfs, and the Pearly Clam Clamps. Because, well, but well, the fact that the Distant Spring has Wally Walks and water and such, uh, the Distant Spring also has a lot of mini boss enemies uh, located in it. Such as, literally, right outside of camp, uh, the Puff Stools over here along with a bunch of Dwarf Bulborbs. And you know what, let's take care of this guy first. Ah, oh, seriously. I cannot believe I just lost a... <sighs> Throwing yellows to a Dwarf is always one of like, the hardest things ever because it's just like, it's such a pain to get him to latch onto him. And we already lost our first Pikmin in, what was it, like not even a minute into the video? All right, well, we split up our reds, we split up our blues. Let's get our reds over here and have them start carrying back the pellets. As you can see, walking around in the background, uh, the fiery blowhogs are over here as well. And... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to wait for these guys to pop back. Okay. Get a couple more reds under our little battalion right here, or I guess in this case, given the size of them, it's just a squad. There we go. That's what I wanted to do with my yellows. I think it's just the fact that the, the yellows are so light. Guys, where are you going? No, don't go that way. Uh, the fact that the yellows are so light, it's kind of hard for them to actually, like, get directed right onto where the bulb orb is. So, we're just going to head over here with our reds, and hopefully they don't wake up the bulb orb over here. And as you saw back over there, the puff stool, he will spit out his spores if you get too close to him. Honestly, he's very docile. You don't really have to worry about him unless you have your Pikmin, like, actively attacking around him or if uh, he's just, like, very agitated. More often than not, uh, if you leave him alone, he'll leave you alone. So it's best to just, like, ignore him until you get a fair decent amount of Pikmin under your wings so that we can maximize the damage output to him. Get our yellows over here. Let's have you collect that, and let's have you collect that. Doing pretty good on Pikmin numbers right now, but I do want to take care of the bulb orb over there, so that way we can get our dwarf back to base. And we got a bit of an issue over here. I want to get that five pellet. We're gonna have to deal with the Wallywog because it's close enough that he is going to take notice to it. I think actually, actually, you know, what? hold on a second. Let's get our blues over here, and I'm going to run Distraction. If I can get him to hop away a couple times, then should be out of range of where he will go after the Pikmin for going for the pellet. Alright, there we go. Now that that frog is thoroughly confused, let's grab our blue boys. And before he decides to come back over to where the pellet is, we're going to get them in there, and we're going to just make like bandits with that pellet. All right, come on, lazy bums. I uh, probably should be giving the reds more numbers, seeing as how there's a lot of fights they're going to be getting into here. It, it would be nice to maybe get more blues under our wing because of the fact that there's a lot of things out in the water. But if I want to deal with the puff stool and the bulb orbs over here right now, definitely going to need to raise these red numbers. So that's why I think they should get priority on the dwarf over here. As you can see, marching around in the background over there, we got ourselves a Mamuda. And seeing as how he's very passive towards Pikmin as well, let's just get our reds over here and they can carry back this 10 pellet. And then after we get this 10 pellet and get those Pikmin plucked, we should be able to carry back, or we should be able to take the fight to the Bulborbs. I want blue, give me the yellows. Here we go. What? 
All right, fine. Don't know why that red was slacking on the job. All right, so far so good. Uh, let's get you boo boys leaped up. Well, I did say I want to get you guys uh, flowered up, not leafed up. So I guess we'll leave you guys to start plucking grass over there. Let's start getting our blues picked. And once we get these pellets back, brought back to base, then we can start going after the enemies around here. Because then I feel confident enough to say that we have a decent amount of Pikmin to basically bum rush all the enemies that are sitting over here. Especially you, Wally Wog. You will die by my hand, or at least by the hand of my little carrot people. And seriously, that was all the nectar over there? Oh, fine. There's still a little glob over by where the Mamuda is, so if I am desperate for the nectar, I could always... Eh, you know what? I think while we're taking the fight to the Bulborgs and bull bears over here, or not the bull bears, but the, the Wally Wogs and such, I'm going to take you over here, and you can get to plucking some grass for the rest of the battalion. Alright. Big bin numbers look good. Looks like it's definitely been favoring the yellows and blues more. Oh, no. Actually, it's been pretty even uh, between all the Pikmin. I think our first victim should definitely be the Bulborb right there. That way we can start carrying back the dwarves as well as maybe take care of the puff stool over here. So just hang ourselves just right and bum rush him. Go for the bum, go for the bum, go for the bum. There we go. Alright, now that he's taken care of, let's take care of the puff stool. Yes, he's been very docile, but at the same time it's like. Oh, let me, he, he tried to mushroomize my Pikmin earlier. I didn't like it, it was rude. And one cycle, nice. So, kind of a funny thing that happened, and also kind of a sad thing that happened, was my initial run through the challenge mode for a practice before the series even began. Uh, what had happened was, is I was going to like fight the puff stool. Somehow he was able to get his spores onto the Pikmin, so they were becoming mushroomized. He mushroomized my entire battalion because I was too slow and stupid to not call him back in time. And for what? Okay, it was weird. The, the Pikmin numbers were going haywire over there. I uh, they mushroom he mushroomized all my Pikmin, but I killed him just as the spores uh, transformed them. So in that case, uh, he basically just. They glitched out and uh, were just like straight up mushroom Pikmin by looks, but in the way they acted, they were still my normal Pikmin. I was like, oh no, they're permanently mushroomed. I'm going to have to get rid of them, otherwise they're going to kill me. So I led them into the water, and guess what? I lost a fair number of Pikmin. Okay, you guys got this guy taken care of. Actually... He's gotten distracted. Let's get you guys attacking from behind. Just swarm him. There we go. Alright. Go for the bulb right here. Go for that bulbous bum. There we go. And now, since we have already gotten 100 Pikmin on the field, we're just going to prioritize whoever gets what uh, carries it back to the Ryan. Although, when it comes to the nectar, then I will give the specific Pikmin to it. Like that's going to blue. no, I'm gonna say that's going to the yellows. It looked like there were more reds than yellows or blues there, but nope, it seems like yellows got majority. Alright, you're asleep over here, so let's take care of you. Now that I think about it, I don't think there are bull bears in this map for challenge mode. I think it's just straight up bull borbs and well force naval enemies. Uh give me the blues. Could have used a few more blues for 
our battalion right here. It looks like uh, Fortune favored the Reds this time around, which I guess uh, Yellow's got priority for the Force Naval. Blue's got the Force of Hope and the Impact Sight, so it would make sense that it would be uh, the Reds' turn to get some love. Alright, already at noon and only at 143. We need to double time it here, folks. And hopefully this Puffy Blowhog is not going to blow my Pikmin away as they try to carry back the pellet. Well, we're not bothering him, so he might not be bothering us. One good thing I will say about this is the fact that there are no swooping snitch bugs over here. It is just straight up... I guess you would say the most annoying enemy we'd have to fight would be the Puffy Blowhogs. Is the... Oh, cover there? No, the frog's not there, but the frog is there. Alright. Well, in that case... Uh, well, I did say that he was not bothering us, so we wouldn't bother him, but guess what? I lied. I want whatever he's got on him. Uh, hopefully he doesn't fly over the water and end up dropping him off in into the middle of it. I need to get my yellows onto him so that we can bring him down so we can just swarm him. Uh, actually, he's in a spot where I can maximize the use of my reds. Very well, he's not really putting up much of a fight. He hasn't even blown a single gust of wind, and there he goes. Just had to open my big mouth. See, that's what happens when I do that. Wow, he basically... Okay, just take command of all my... What is going on with that pellet? Uh, bread? Up, 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 there, up, up, okay then. Uh, Jerry. No, wait, no, uh, Fred. You go help out with that. Uh, th the rest of you guys maybe want to lend a hand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, good. We solved that problem. Let's get you guys up there. Hopefully you can get that pellet. There we go. All right, yellow's got a majority for that, so they'll get the max numbers. I find it funny that I said that this is probably the most dangerous location out of all the challenge mode maps, and yet we haven't lost a single Pikmin to a fight. Well, actually, no, we lost the yellow to the Dwarf Borbo earlier. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, let's go take care of the Mamuda over here. I think we, ha yeah, 88 should definitely be able to swarm it and overwhelm it. All right, go for voice. Show no mercy. Show no mercy. Nice. I don't think he actually planted a single... Oh, nope. He planted a good number of reds. Alright. Let's get you guys part and we'll go and nectar the remainder of the battalion. And I think we're going to push a little bit inward for uh, the remainder. Yeah, I could do the outskirts and uh, go for whatever's on the small island where all the bomb rocks were located in the massage machine was, but honestly, it's kind of a pain to get over there, so I think we're just going to stick with what's over here. Eh, some got flower. Not as much as I was hoping for. Alright, got a couple dwarfs over here. I saw a trio. We got another uh, puff stool marching around back there, so maybe we should take the fight to him, but let's get these guys brought back to base real quick. And we also got a Wally Wog sitting in the pond over here. Let's see if we can draw his attention away. So, there was actually a secret to the Wally Wogs that I never actually mentioned because it was something that I didn't discover until after we uh, got the majority of this. It's the sound that they make. Uh, if you hear them uh, croaking every time they try to hop up in the air, that's an indicator that they're not going to be able to jump up into the air to try and flatten your Pikmin. So, if you hear croaking, then you're safe. But if you see it trying to jump and not croak, then you're kind of screwed. You idiots! We're gonna get screwed! Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get easily distracted, guys. Come on. I know you're all very, very hungry, but you just have to hold off for just a minute. Put you boys on a diet. Alright. We're 
almost done with the day. I don't think 20 would be enough. Oh. Ooh, that was close. I don't think 20 is going to be enough to get them back to... Or to take care of the puff stool marching around over here. So he gets to live for now. Alright, uh, uh, let's get you last two on here so we can have a 20. Okay, never mind. There's actually another yellow that got caught. Really? You're just gonna keep spraying, spraying spores all over the place? Alright then. Alright, you're carrying him back. I don't have enough blues to go challenge a Wally Wall got in the water. So what I think we're gonna do for the remainder of our time is we're gonna take whatever Pikmin we have here. Why are there a couple of reds planted? When did I lose any Pikmin? What? Must have glitched when I was fighting the Puff Stool. Because the puzzle was hands down like the glitch you sent me for you to fight because it will push a Pikmin underground and just like throw them out of bounds and or kill them. Or I guess in this case it's supposed to indicate like crushing damage. Alright. Let's get you guys all sorted together. And I think we should probably yeah, he's becoming a bit of a menace, so let's take care of the puff stool first. And then we'll go after the blowhog. Trip and fall on his face. And this might be an issue because we're throwing you know, up there. Oh, come on. Seriously, a Glint Beetle. Come on, get him, get him. Run, run! And there we go. I figured that was going to be enough to kill him, but I just want to make sure. Because there's also another indicator, I believe, is like, if you have... Oh my god, you guys, come on, seriously. If, if uh, they get spored when the Puffstool dies, there's a, still a good chance that, uh, for whatever reason, they just drop over dead. So it's a good uh, thing to just try and keep your Pikmin away from the spores as efficiently as possible. Come on, go for him, go for him. There we go. Nice job, guys. Alright, collect your spores of war. Don't really have a whole lot of time left, so in the final hours of the day, let's just panic. And whoever gets what, uh, gets to keep it. There's one of the Pearly Clam Clams over there, and if I had more blues with me, we could definitely try to go for the Nectar. And blues, you guys take that. Or I guess a blue and a red can take it. Oh, what else can I fight that could get me a couple of Pikmin? Just to cap off the time. We've well surpassed, I believe, the Pikmin numbers needed to beat my last high score for this area. And it's almost nighttime. Come on, guys. Uh, that Wally Walk over there. I did promise I was going to kill it by the end of the day. Alright, come here. Come here. Come here, you. I don't care if we have to carry... We can't carry your corpse back. I just want to take your life. After all the trouble you have given me in the main story, it is time for me to get some righteous vengeance upon you. Uh oh, here it goes! I am honestly surprised I was able to get through that without a single Pikmin getting killed. I thought the ones laying underneath were dead to rights. Uh oh, I think they're fighting over it. Nope. What happened to the red that was carrying it? Uh, ten seconds. You live today, Wally Wog. But I'll get my revenge on you sometime in the future. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Well, gentlemen, your numbers have increased. Your population is no longer considered endangered. Good job. You've destroyed the ecosystem, but you know what? In the end, it was worth it. What are you doing back there, Jerry? Jerry? Jer Jerry? Jerry? Are you doing a little victory dance, seeing as how your population is no longer considered endangered? He's just having the time of his life, huh? Oh no, he's watching me. Alright, 
Total number of Pikmin sprouted for the distant spring was 289. Well past the Pikmin that we got for this. Reds definitely came out on top of that. Just look at that red line just go straight up. Yeah, I'm gonna say pretty uh, good job there. Would have loved to have hit 300, but I just kind of ran out of enemies and didn't prioritize enough blues to go for the clam. Oh well. Next time on Pikmin, we're gonna head off to the final challenge area. Well, aptly named the final trial because, well, that's where we had to go for our last map area. And then after that, that's the end of Pikmin. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Later.